thank y'all so much for watching these series and enjoying um if you enjoy these series comment below make sure you share this out with a friend and make sure like i said i don't say this a lot but make sure y'all subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when i upload um a hair tip so yesterday we talked about um why you shouldn't wear the satin or silk scarves while you're working out now today i'm going to expand and talk about working out with your natural hair because i don't want y'all hair to hold y'all back from y'all health goals y'all weight loss goals so i'm gonna just give y'all a few tips today on working out with your natural hair so i do have you know a couple of clients that you know go swimming a lot and take swim lessons and i'm gonna just tell you here um, I know them swim caps don't always fit, but I still would recommend if you are swimming and you enjoy swimming as far as a workout, make sure you wear a swim cap, okay? I know they have some on Amazon. They done got more hip now where they got actually jumbo ones. And I know some of y'all thinking my hair still gets wet. Now, from my experience, from what I've seen, yes, your hair still do get wet around the, like, the perimeter, but it's better than your whole head getting wet. So, I would say yes, invest and find you a swim cap. At least then, if only your edges or in your, around your neck is getting wet, that's easy to kind of rinse out or just blow dry out versus your whole head. Chlorine really dries out your hair. So, when you're swimming a lot with just your hair out and free, you notice it's going to be a whole lot drier. Now, I will tell you, if you're going swimming and you not putting that on your head, and you just swimming like, like I got two strand twists if I were to go swimming like this. When you get out that pool and say you don't have nothing on your head, you need to rinse your hair of the chlorine and make sure you uh, properly moisturize and put some leave-in conditioner and the moisturizer. So I will say that. Also, when you're working out, let's say you're not going to the pool, but you're working out and you do sweat a lot in your head, of course, wear the sweat bands like we discussed yesterday. Now, also, you can do a scalp cleanse. Um, oh, this is a shameless plug, but oh, if you click the link below in my description box, um, and go to my website, I actually have a spray called the Rosemary Stimulating Spray. It's a good, um, scalp cleanser, like in between, uh, your shampoo, because I understand it's natural, it's like we ain't got time to be shampooing every day, but that is just like a spray that you can spray on your scalp just to kind of keep it refreshed and keep it clean. You can always just take like a warm wet rag or something and go in between and like um wipe the sweat and the dirt off your scalp and then after you do that you want to follow up with like a leave-in conditioner and the oil so those are some tips on working out with your natural hair and how to like keep up and maintain your styles also it's better to like if you are a person and you do work out a lot get some styles that you can kind of um it's more manageable like two strand twists maybe get some box braids uh, opt out for styles where you can get to your scalp pretty quickly and cleanse your scalp and where your scalp can breathe and have a lot of air. So anyway, I hope that helped and I will see you on my next hair tip video. Bye!